Hi, this is Jesper, and I make videos on YouTube for those who like to challenge mindset and make a difference in the workplace. Data models define data and data relationships, and I previously made a video on data normalization, first, second, and third normal form. You can find the link above. But this only scratches the surface. There is another layer to data modeling, the data dark web, that introduces a multidimensional concept to data and relationships, and which allows us to do very different and very cool things with data. To explain, let's start with a typical structure, with the top, the middle, and the bottom layer all connected. The complication is that not all models or situations can fit into this structure. For example, it is assumed in this model that the parent can have many children, but the child can only have one parent. But what happens if a child needs to be connected to more than one parent, two, three, four, or five parents, creating a multidimensional relationship rather than our typical structured top-down relationship? A good example is a funding model in the United States public school system where you have schools, sub-districts, and districts. Schools can receive funding from both a sub-district and a district, and in addition, there are additional organizations that are providing funding to schools, creating a multidimensional relationship between schools, sub-districts, sub districts, and other external funding providers. What we need is not a hierarchy, but a web-like or ecosystem-like structure where we can model multidimensional relationships. But to access that web-like or ecosystem-like structure, we need a key or a doorway. A doorway lies in a particular technique of data modeling. Let's start with a simple data model and an entity called Education Entity. This entity contains all participants in the education system. Let's populate the data model with six entries. District A, District B, Subdistrict A, Subdistrict B, School A, and School B. For each participant, there is also a type, and the types are school, subdistrict, district, or funder. But how do we model the complex relationships between the parties? How do we set up schools under district, subdistrict, or funder? How do we set up sub-district with multiple parents, that is district and funder, and multiple children, that is multiple schools? And perhaps most importantly, how do we prevent setting up districts and sub-districts under a school, or a district under a sub-district? One common way of addressing this problem is to use what's called a recursive relationship within an entity that allows the entity to point back to itself. But that only allows that entity to either have one child or one parent. It can't have multiple children and multiple parents. In that case, we're going to need multiple recursive relationships. And imagine that we have four relationships, we're going to need four recursive relationships, and that is just not doable. So the question is, how do we solve it? We need a new kind of data structure, a multidimensional data structure. And this is how we build it and how we create a doorway into it. We create a new entity called Related Education Entity, and we create two relationships between the two entities. The primary case of the Education Entity becomes a compound primary key for the Related Education Entity. Here is how the Related Education Entity might be populated. For example, we can set up District A as a parent of both Subdistrict A, Subdistrict B, and School A. And we can set up Subdistrict A as a parent of School B. And we can set up Funder A as being a parent of both Subdistrict A and School A. As you can see, any relationship can be defined in the related education entity. This data construct, which I jokingly call the data dark web, it's also referred to as normalization to fifth business normal form, which is not quite the same as normalization to fifth normal form. It was introduced by an Australian, Clive Finkelstein, and I put in 
a couple of links in the description of this video. What's really cool with this construct is that this allows pretty much anything to be modeled, any kind of complex relationship in n dimensions. This is cool, but what makes it extra cool is that we can apply it on any relationship. For example, what happens if we apply it on the education entity type and make a related education entity type? What could we do with that? One use case could be to enforce data integrity by reducing data entry errors. So we can configure the related education entity type to only allow for certain relationships or certain combinations of the relationships. And if we try to enter a relationship that doesn't fit into this structure, it will fail. The structure can easily be extended. For example, we may want to add state and allow each state to have its own configurations between school, subdistrict, district, and funder. Let's extend the model by adding relationship type. And the relationship type describes the nature of the relationship. And the relationship types are funding, non-funding, buying consortium, service provider, or content provider. For example, Regulation may stipulate that the funder cannot be a content provider or a service provider. The same approach is used where we create a new entity, related relationship types with two relationships back to relationship type. But we may use this entity differently. So rather than putting in combinations that are allowed, we may want to put in combinations that are not allowed, the exceptions. Let's add some data into the related relationship type entity. We connect funding with service provider and funding with content provider. In this instance, it means that if we are trying to connect two education entities and one is a relationship type of funding and the other one is a service provider or content provider, it will fail. And just like previously, this structure can easily be extended. For example, adding state and allowing each state to have their own configuration according to their own regulations and laws. It shifts the complexity of a system into the data and the data structure itself. It's easy to imagine what would happen in the system when we are relying on data in this way and we're configuring in this way and something goes wrong. A lot could go wrong by just getting a little bit of data wrong. Let's put it all together. The data dark web, the fifth business normal form, allows for any number of connections or relationships to be made. It is recognizable by two identical one-to-many relationships between the core entity and the related core entity. It also allows for business rules to be defined for those relationships, also using fifth business normal form and we have seen it used to allow or disallow certain relationship combinations. But it could also easily be used for a product, describing what components it consists of and how and in what sequence they are put together. It is used for complex relationships only that cannot be resolved using constructs like intersecting entities or recursive relationships. Perhaps this video has made you rethink what is possible with data and data relationships. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care until then.